Hey, how's it going, you guys? So I want to share uh, really the big difference between doing a psilocybin therapy experience in a retreat or in a controlled setting and doing it at home or recreationally. And I'm going to talk about you know what the risks are and why there's such a different experience and a different outcome when you do it in a controlled setting. And so really number one, these plants are, you know, extremely powerful and they can open up your mind. They do open up your mind and help you connect in a, a deeper way with, you know, your own self and what you restore in this process is your own well-being and a sense of deep inner peace. And uh, you come out the other side with people often describe it as joy or bliss or happiness or uh, just an ever-present knowing of like the next level or clarity that you're looking for in your experience in life. And all of this happens because your mind, you desire and you intend to have this experience for yourself. And so people come to these types of retreats and these types of experiences in order to transform. And if you've ever gotten on the phone with one of our team, that's most likely the first question they asked you is, what are you looking to change within yourself in going through this experience? because it truly is a treatment experience and we are a health facility. And so we have a very high standard, a very high class process to make sure everything is safe, everything is secure, everything's predictable, and everything is systematized to the point where you're gonna have a profound experience and you're gonna know that you're gonna get the same result as someone else and that your problems aren't going to be you know, something that slips through the cracks because we've built a really fundamental system that gets profound experiences here. And we also merge the spirit side of this, right? Because we have, you know, providers that have done this for over 10,000 times and have been working with this medicine, are born both from indigenous families, and they're able to really provide the love and the support and the guidance and provide the insights that only someone that has that knowledge and that unique spiritual you know advantage and perspective can offer during those critical times of transformation and so it's the merger of these two that creates a really profound experience at our retreat center you know and um when you add all of these things together with the psychotherapy, with hypnotherapy, with breakthrough sessions, with one-on-one -on -one intensives, with uh, really incredible staff, hospitality, all your needs are taken care of, you're able to relax, you're in nature, you're in paradise, then you have a person that's ready to let go, right? And a big part of that is you know, besides the professionalism in the process we built is the environment and, you know, being able to get away from your normal thinking, your normal habits, and just being able to let go of your thoughts, your, you know, beliefs and, you know, the patterns that you're living in your life, like all those things combined together really help open up and release that anchor of the past. And so you're able to create a new future from the present moment and a retreat like this. And so, you know, the other side, which is going through an experience, maybe recreationally, or maybe just on your own, or maybe without a provider, or maybe, you know, in like, just kind of a freestyle, like, you know, maybe you're in your bedroom or some experience along those lines, or some people do this like in the woods with people without nature. And so um, the counter side of that is there's a lower level of trust. I think one of the predictable factors that creates profound results is, is someone feels secure. If someone feels incredibly secure, then they're willing to open up. It's the same thing in therapy. A therapist has to build trust over time. And that person that wants that transformation has to have that opening. They have to be willing to express, willing to bring those things up to the surface to release and reveal and transmute and to realize what's on the other side. And so if you don't have that level of support and if you don't have that environment, then that trust factor will be like just more closed off. And this is why it's very beneficial to have people around you that, you know, genuinely have your best interest in mind and understand your journey and have heard you share your intention and can be there as just a guide and, you know, emotional support. You know, if they're not a professional psychotherapist, at least emotional support to help you walk through the process. And, um, 
you know, if that trust, if you're on your own and that trust isn't really there, or, you know, even if you're just by yourself and you don't have a guide, there's only a certain level of depth that, um, in my personal experience and many experiences that I've, I've heard of people share the stories all the time about their own personal experiences. And, you know, usually what people have when they do this recreationally or on their own or in the bedroom is like, they get happy, they get high, they feel like, you know, maybe exploring a little bit. Some people have very negative experiences. Um, and, um, there's a lot of unpredictability in, um, in that process when you don't have that setting. And so, you know, that's why it's important to have all those factors in order and so that you have that predictability, you're eating the right diet, you're taking the right dose, you're working with providers that have experience and you're really doing all the follow-up and preparation that's gonna really cement that profound experience for you and anchor it into your life as your new reality. And um, you know, the alternatives just don't get that result. And so I tell people all the time, you know, um, that are looking for just a psilocybin experience like it's not really a psilocybin experience you're looking for it's the transformation you're looking for right you want to overcome your depression you want to release your anxiety you want to heal and move past the trauma from your past you know you're not looking for a psilocybin treatment you're looking for a transformation the psilocybin is just one of the many tools that helps you unlock and reveal that transformation and experience that new life that you have for yourself on the other side and so it's not just the medicine or else everyone that had stripped at a concert or you know has decided to do these you know on their back porch in a hammock you know would you know be getting incredible results and you know permanent you know mental health healing and permanent life transformation new perspective and new reality with themselves and unfortunately that's not the case you, know, you do have to have the infrastructure and the system and the team around you to have a profound experience and uh, they have to be really qualified and have done enough of these to know how to answer the questions and do the right thing and provide the right type of support so that's um, the overall scope about what gear really gets results and um, you know it's extremely powerful medicine and so use it wisely um, you know, just like, like anything, it can be used for good and it can be used to, you know, um, for destructive purposes. And so you have to be extremely mindful going into an experience that um, you're gonna be doing it for the right reasons and doing it with the right type of support. Best of luck, you guys. Hopefully see you soon.